Berkshire Hathaway, led by billionaire investor Warren Buffett, is in transition. The reality is that one day, Buffett won't be at the helm of the company he took over 48 years ago, which leaves his son, Howard Buffett. We've covered the Buffetts for years. Howard's the middle kid, and the man people say will keep his father's legacy alive. I'm here in Wilcox, Arizona, population 4,000. There are several hundred thousands of acres of farmland here, 1,400 of which are owned by Howard, the future chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. Now, Betty, yes. since you've dropped in to the middle of nowhere in the high desert of Arizona, you want to ride or you want to walk? Uh, definitely a ride. Okay, I'll give you a ride. <laughs> you can have a ride. All right. Jump all right. in the truck. I'm going to jump in your truck. Okay. Howard discovered farming when he bought his first bulldozer at age 21, and now he's a veteran, driving around, will, checking on so, his new so this, equipment, this and surveying the area he's I reserved for college it. researchers. Yeah. Howard rarely slows down, does, the son of a billionaire yeah. who's managed to work hard his whole life without directly working for his father. I've published seven books. I think of myself as a photographer. I, I, uh, I think of myself as a What do you think of yourself first? The very first thing that comes to mind in terms of are, are either a businessman or farmer. On that front, he's on four boards, including Berkshire and Coca-Cola. And among his many other jobs, he's the ambassador against hunger for the United Nations. The father of five is constantly in motion. One minute he's checking on a well, the next he's joking with Eva Longoria over email. Their unlikely friendship started with a $1 million donation to her foundation that helps one in four Latinas in the U.S. under the poverty line. In fact, many famous people visit Howard, from Tony Blair to Bono to Shakira. He likes to take his visitors for a ride on his monster machines, including me. You go ahead and pull this back, stop. Oh, oh. now that's too far. <laughs> that's neutral. That's right, you didn't kill anybody. High powered and homespun, the Buffets are unlike any billionaire family I've ever met. Just some Midwest boys, Howard and Warren combined are worth more than $52 billion. That's enough to buy Starbucks, not a cup or a store, but the entire company. And with the spare change, more than 50 Boeing Dreamliners. Over sandwiches and diet soda at the local diner, Howard contemplates his future as the next chairman of Berkshire Hathaway. I would say that I've been preparing for it all my life because <laughs> I've, I've always, you know, had this great opportunity to observe my dad and, and watch his, you know, his behavior, his interactions with people. And another way, you know, I've been on, that Ber on the Berkshire board now 20 years. Um, that's a preparation. Um, but I think today, I probably think about it a little differently than I did, you know, even uh, maybe five years ago, just from the standpoint that the board's been expanded. So I think it's important for me to spend time with the board um, you know, Ajit came back to ride in the combine this fall and make sure I understand the insurance business. I'll never understand it like Ajit, but I mean, he just wants to make sure I got the basics, you know. So, so do you think you have that down pat? You think you've got... No, I don't have a down pat, but I've got, I mean, you know, I, you know, there, the thing is, you, you know, Berkshire's built on great managers. And so, you know, as a non-executive chairman, I'm not running those companies. I mean, you know, that's, that's not what I have to worry about. What are you going to have to worry about? I don't have to worry about keeping the managers for one thing. I mean, that's a, that's that's a critical component of, of you know the future, um, and I and I should you know um, make sure I communicate with the board. I should make sure that I uh, help execute anything that that would be helpful to the CEO. Um, but there's no way to know how much that is. I mean, it, it could be very little. It might be more sometimes. Uh, could be more in the beginning. You know, as everybody adjusts. I mean, it, it's very hard to predict it. But in the meantime, Howard's full speed ahead, running his foundation, looking to improve the quality of life for the world's poorest populations. In 2013, depending on the stock market valuation, of course, of the Berkshire stock, you know, we could give away $105, $110 million. That fight to help the world's poor is mixed with a sensitivity over the family's enormous wealth. Apparent when I went to make breakfast for my crew, Howard, his wife Devin, and Bullock, his beloved German shepherd. Speak. Good boy. Oh, nice cat. <laughs> I spend half my life in places where people will never have what I have, you know, and mm -hmm. and half my life in places where people live on 
$10, $5, $2 a day. That drive to help those less fortunate is why the Buffets have become an admired American family and why Howard still thinks about his dad in everything he does. Every morning you get out of bed, think about what you do because it might be on the front of the newspaper. <laughs> Betty Lou, Bloomberg, Wilcox, Arizona.